kafaji abubuwan da muke tafi da su ga Maryam da kanin labarai to hawa an harba wasu ɗan Isra'ila uku har lahira a yau lahadi akan iyakar yamma da kogin Jordan da kasar Jordan a wani hari da ga dukan alama ke da alaka da yakin da aka kwashe watanni 11 ana yi a Gaza tsohon dan takarar shugabancin kasar Venezuela daga jam'iyyar Adawa Edmundo Gonzalez yayi gudun hijira bayan da ya samu mafaka a kasar Spain Papa Roma Francis ya je tsibiran Papua New Guinea dake kudin masoyan mutun Tekun Pacific a yau Lahadi dan ziyartar mabiya dari kar Katolika a bangaren rahotannin za ku ji cewa gwamnatin jihar Zamfara ta fusata kan wata takarda dake yawo a kafafan labarai dake nuna gwamnatin jihar Dauda Lawal ya bada umarni da abaya wasu manyan yan ta'adda dake jihar wasu makudan kudade babu wani shiri babu wata niyya sai yin sulhu da yan ta'adda muna kuma tafi da rahoto kan shirye-shiryen gudanar da babban zabe a kasar Ghana a watan Disambar nan mai zuwa idan Allah ya kai mu As your president I want to assure you of my unflinching commitment to ensuring that the 2024 elections are conducted in a free fair transparent and peaceful manner Shugaban kasar Ghana kenan nana a kofa addu sai aka sance da mu a cikin shirin domin jin karin bayani akan wadannan da ma sauraron rahotanni dake tafi muna kuma tafi da shirin dandalin yan jarida inda a yau shirin ya yada zango a jamhuriyar Niger tare da Suleiman Muni Barma amma Fadik sai bayan an saurari labaran duniya a kashin farko Jama'a assalamu alaikum ga cikakkun labaran an harba wasu ɗan Isra'ila su uku har lahira a yau Lahadi akan iyakar yamma da kogin Jordan da kasar Jordan a wani hari da ga dukan alama ke da alaka da yakin da aka kwashe watanni 11 ana yi a Gaza a cewar jami'an Isra'ila sojojin sun ce dan bindigar da ya kai harin daga yankin kasar Jordan ya tinka daga dar mashigan Albany a cikin wata babban mota inda ya bude wuta akan jami'an tsaron Isra'ila wadanda su kuma suka kashe maharan a musayar wutar da ta auko an ce mutanen uku da aka kashe farar hula ne ɗan Isra'ila hukumar ayyukan gaggawa da ceto ta magen David Adom ta Isra'ila ta ce dukan mutanen mazani da suka haura shekaru 50 kasar Jordan na gudanar da bincike akan harban kamar yadda kafar yadin labaran ta Petra ta bayyana kasar ta Larabawa dake kawance da kasashen yammacin duniya ta yi sulhu da Isra'ila a shekarar 1994 amma kuma tana ciccakar manufofin ta akan Palestinawa sosai kasar Jordan dai na da al'umma Palestina da yawa kuma an sha yin zanga zangar nuna adawa da Isra'ila a Jordan din game da yakin Gaza Sohan dan takarar shugabancin kasar Venezuela daga jami'ar Adawa Edmundo Gonzalez yayi gudun hijira bayan da ya samu mafaka a kasar Spain lamarin da miliyoyin mutane magoya bayan su ba su ji dadin sa ba wadanda ke fatan ganin ya fara yakin neman zabe dan kawo ƙarshen mulkin jami'a daya da aka shafa shekaru 20 ana yi a kasar Mace makiyar shugaban Venezuela Delcy Rodriguez ce ta sanar da tserewar ban mamakin da Gonzales yayi wanda yan adawa kasar Venezuela da wasu gwamnatocin kasashen ketare da yawa suke ganin shine ya lashe zaben shugaban kasa da aka yi a watan Yulin da ya wuce ta ce gwamnatin kasar ta yanke shawarar ba Gonzales damar fucewa daga kasar yan kwanaki bayan da gwamnatin ta bada umarnin a kama shi dan dawo da zaman lafiya da kunciyar hankali a kasar Gonzales ko shugabar jami'ar Adawa Maria Corina Machado ba su ce komai ba game da batun To labaran na zuwa muku ne daga nan sashen Hausa na muryar Amurka a birnin Washington DC An jima kadan muryan za ta sake shigowa da karashin labaran Kafin nan yanzu bari mu shiga Najeriya inda wakilin mu Agusto ta jihar Zamfara Abdul Razak Bello ya shida mana yadda gwamnatin jihar Zamfara wato gwamnatin jihar Zamfara ta fusata akan wata takarda da ake ta kara kai na da ita a kafafan labarai da ke nuna cewa gwamnatin jihar Dauda Lawal ya bada umarnin da a bayya wasu manyan yan ta'addan da ke jihar wasu makudan kudade domin a je wato dan su aji makaman su su kuma baiwa gwamnatin jihar damar hakar ma'adanai gadi Abdul Razak din da cikakken rahoto Gwamnatin jihar Zamfara kala shi ta kofin daukar matakin shari'a ga wanda suke zargin ta da baiwa manyan yan ta'adda ma'udan kudade don su dai na ta'addanci da kuma baiwa gwamnatin jihar Zamfara har ma'adanai ba tare da samu wuta tangarda ba 
Takatan gwamnatin jihar Zamfara Abubakar Muhammad na fada wanda ya bayyana shirin gwamnatin na daukar wannan matakin ya ce san gwamnatin jihar Zamfara ba ta da kuduri ko da yin sulhu da Ibrahim masu kisa al'umma a fadin jihar Mala Abubakar na fada ya ce san zancin ba gaskiya bane babu wani shiri babu wata niyya ta yin sulhu da yan ta'adda ballanta na a dauko takarda a danga nata da cewa mu mu hakikiro wannan takarda domin mu mu biya wayannan yan takarda domin mu biyan wata manuha ta yin sulhu ko kuma domin a samu kafa ta gina wasu ma'adanai wanda shi mai girma gamna ba shi ne kan gaban shi ba shi ma daya daga cikin yan jirgin da ake zargi da cikin gajiyar kudaden da aka bayyana a cikin takardar Shu'aib Mungadi ya ce idan mai fadi baya da hankali kamata yayi wanda ke saurare ya kasance mai hankali ya ce labarin takardar zuke ta ballace domin a ce wurin shi sun ba gaskiya bane kuma bai da matsaliya akan wannan zancen yana da wahala a ce an samu gwamnati komai zaman ta mahaukaciya ta rubuta takarda neman kudi a rubuce cewa gwamnati ya sa hannu a tsara sunayen yan ta'adda a rubuce da sunayen wasu yan jaridu a ce su ne za su ya da manufofin gwamnati akan wannan tsari da za a yi ina ganin in dai haraka tsaro ce da wuya a yi irin wannan rubutun faro faro saboda tunanin cewa takarda za ta iya fadawa wuraren da ba a zasan ta shiga ya ce dama can a irin tsarin wasu yan siyasa a Najeriya ana samu irin haka kuma abu ne wanda ba yanzu aka fara ba ba mamaki kila wanda yasa ai wannan rubutun kila muna cikin wadanda suka adabe shi ko kuma muna yin abin da shi baya jin dadi amma dai ba na tunanin laifi ne ma idan ma har an ba da kudin cewa gwamnati ta fito da wasu manufofi kuma ta shirya kudi ta ba yan jaridu domin su yaya ta manufofin ta shi kuwa professor muhammad tukur usman na sashen tarihi na jami'ar usman dan fudure ke sakuto ya ce labarin yan siyasa na jihar zamfara daban yake na sauran yan siyasa sauran wurare a siyasar mu irin yadda ake yin ta anan kasar ta mu za ta ga akwai wato ba ta rubuwa da abubuwa irin na yarfe wato amma dai in ya zamana wato akwai adawa mai zafi kamar irin yadda suke yi yanzu a zamfara a saboda haka ko su yan adawa din za su iya yin ko mene ne yadda yake wato ba wai na magana a madadin ita gwamnati bane amma kasancewar kowa ya riga ya san shi gwamnan wannan jiha din ina dai daga cikin gwamnatin da ya ce shi a wurin shi ba magana sulhu tare da irin wannan yan ta'adda a jihar zamfara dai an sha fitar da takardu iri daban-daban masu dauke da sa hannu yan siyasa da wasu a gaban nan gwamnati karshen rahoton kenan Abdul Razak bin Lakaura mari Amurka daga Gursau jihar zamfara a Najeriya to madalla an gaida Abdul Razak Bello ana tare ni da sashen Hausa na Mari Amurka a birnin Washington DC kai tsaye za a iya sauraron shirye-shiryen mu da suka ba gabata a shafukan sadarwa Facebook, Twitter da Instagram ga Maryam da ci gaban labaran duniya Papa Roma Francis ya je tsibiran Papua New Guinea dake kudin maso yammacin Tekun Pacific a yau Lahadi dan ziyartar mabiya dariƙar Katolika dake zama a daya daga cikin yankuna mafi nisa da sauran jama'a a duniya inda ya kai musu magunguna da kayan jinya da ma wasu sauran kayayyakin agaji a cikin jirgin sama mai lamba C130 na dakon kayayyaki da rundunar sojojin sama ta Royal Australian ta samar wanda yayi tafiyar kilomita dubu daya Francis ya isa ga ranvanemu mai yawan al'umma kusan 12,000 a yankin Arewa maso yammacin tsibiran Papua New Guinea inda babu ruwan pampo kuma ake fuskantar rashin wadataciyar wutar lantarki Papa Roma dan shekaru 87 ya kai daruruwan kilogram din kayayyaki don taimakawa al'umar yankin a cewar kakakin fadar Vatican Matteo Bruni kayayyakin sun hada da magunguna ta fafi da kuma kayan wasan yara da kayan kada kade dan yara ɗan makaranta a cewar Bruni a Nigeria Saban shugaban hukumar Alhazan kasar ta Nakon Farfesa Abdullahi Sala Pakistan yayi alwashin yin tsayin daka bayan da aka nada shi a matsayin saban shugaban hukumar wajen sauke nauyin da aka dora masa a matsayin sa na babban malamin Islama da ya taba rike makama Farfesa Pakistan ya ce ba zai ba malamta kunya ba wajen rukwa amana a taron farko da ya gudanar da shugabannin sassan hukumar farfesa pakistan ya bukaci samun goyen baya daga dukan ma'aikata dan yana ganin aikin kamar dora jankani 
shehun malamin ya ce tana abokan hulɗar sa a Saudiya daga hukumar Alhazan kasar mai tsarki saka fara tantabar sa domin shirin aiki mai gamsarwa kamar yadda ya bayyana a wata hira da wakilin muryar Amurka Nasir Adam El Hikaya ina da amine da yawa a Saudiya muna ta tattauna da su da wani wasu abubuwan bai shafe su ba amma dai suna da shawara wanda za su iya bayarwa to duk wani wanda muke zaton zai iya bayar da wata shawara ta kirki domin a gan magance wannan matsala gaskiya muna ta tuntuba sa muna samun shawarori a kyakkyawan zaton da muke in Allah ya so bisa abin da muka tono muka gano da kuma kofofin da muka hango ana iya samun wato canji muna kyakkyawan zaton in Allah ya yadda abin da aka yi ba raba zai maimaito ba in Allah ya so ya yadda ga shugaban hukumar da aka sauke bayan jagorantar aikin yajin bana malan Jalal Ahmad Arabi sabon shugaban ya ce sun yi masa addu'ar samun kwarin guyon rungumar gaddara gaba daya da mu da shi da sauran duk wanda yake aiki a karshen wannan hukuma kasance wata tana kula da wani rukuni daga cikin rukunan addinin musulunci duk wanda yake aiki a karshen wannan hukuma musulmi ne to daya daga cikin abinda ya zama dole ga musulmi ya yadda da shi karba gaddara ko a jawabin da nayi mun nuna matukar bakin cikin mu da abinda ya same su mun kuma yi masa addu'ar Allah ya ba su ladan abubuwa da suka yi na daidai Allah ya fi musu kurakuran su muka kuma yi warin za mu koyi darasi daga abin da ya faru wannan abin da ya same shi babu wanda yake ya fi karfin kaddara kowaye shi ba wanda zai iya tsallake wata kaddara da Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya dora masa a muna bakin cikin abin da ya same su kuma muna fata Allah ya ba su kyakkyawan sakamako na iya abin da suka yi na daidai kuma Allah ya sa da mu da su duka mu amfana da kuskuren da aka yi domin a kiyaye gaba kwararre wajen lamurin aikin haji ustaz salisu muhammad gombe ya ce ba tai murna kadai dace ai wa sabon shugaban ba akwai bukatar addu'a Salisu Gombe ya ambata nyoyi biyu da yake ba da shawarar za a iya samun sauki a lamuran tsadar kujerar haji idan gwamnati ta saka dama ta saka duk tallafin ta akan dala a saukar da dala mu'amalar da za a yi da dala ta zama tana da sauki a wajen hukumar Alhazai da Alhazai sannan su jami'an hukumar Alhazai gaba ɗaya su cire personal bukatar su a dubi Allah a dubi yadda aikin zai yi in Allah ya yadda kudin aikin haji zai sauko da yawa saboda haka wayanna hanyoyi guda biyu su ne na farko gwamnati ta shiga king al'amarin tsakanin hukumar Alhazai da Dala yadda za a yi zama suna samu ta hannu ta sauki tunda duk mu'amalar da za su yi nan da Dala za a yi duk lissafin za a kan Dala za a yi muddin ko za a bar Dala a kasuwa a ce hukumar Alhazai kasuwa za a ji a sai Dala aikin haji ba zai taba sauko wa yanda al'umma suke tsammani ba Farfesa Pakistan dai yayi karatu mai zurfi a Saudiya da Pakistan inda yake mai wa'azi da jagoran ta masallacin Jumma'a musamman a Kano kafin a bashi wannan makaman la baran duniya aka saurara daga nan sashen Hausa na Muryar Amurka a birnin Washington DC yanzu kuma sai kasar Ghana inda yayin da aka fara kidayar kwanaki da al'umma kasar ta Ghana za ta fita rumfunan zabe domin zaben sabon shugaba da na ƴan majalisar dokoki a rana 7 ga watan Disamba na shekarar nan mai zuwa idan Allah ya kai mu gogowar yakin neman zabe daga ƴan takara na ƙara yin kaimi a fadin kasar akan haka ne ma wakilin mu a Ghana Idris Abdullah Bako ya hada mana wannan rahoton da za ku ji kamar haka As your president, I want to assure you of my unflinching commitment to ensuring that the 2024 elections are conducted in a free, fair, transparent and peaceful manner. We the police and the rest of the security agencies working in concert will do our utmost best to ensure that this year's election will be peaceful and the Shugaban kasa na na ado dan kwakufu ado da sufeta general din ansan dan Ghana Dr. George Akufo dan Pare ke tabbatar wa yan Ghana cewa shi iya kokarin su don ganin an gudanar da zaben cikin kwanciyar hankali da lumana mataimakin shugaban hukumar zabe dr bosman asari ya yi watsi da ra'ayin cewa alhakin tabbatar da zaman lafiya da sakamakon zabe ya rata ya ne kawai akan shugaban hukumar the suggestion that the peace and the outcome of the election kararin cewa zaman lafiya da sakamakon zabe ya rata ya ne kan shugaban hukumar zabe wata kwata ba gaskiya bane muna kira ga jama'a da su yi watsi da hakan dr bosman ya kara da cewa 
duk yan kasa na da rawar da zasu taka wurin tabbatar da zaben cikin lumana wasu jam'iyyun siyasa sun koka musamman babbar jam'iyyar adawa ta NDC waje ta buƙaci a baiwa kamfanin bincike mai zaman kansa da bincike rijistar yan kasa da hukumar zabe ta gudanar domin akwai kurakurai da yawa da ka iya jawo magudi mu'allim dan tata jami'in sadarwa ne na jam'iyyar NDC mun yi zama na musamman sakani NDC da ainihin letra commission amma ba wani abun da zaman ya haifo domin duk abubuwan da NDC suka bukaci da electoral commission ta yi bayan gano kuskure da dama da ya gudana cikin ainihin register zabe electoral commission ta yi watsi da kirayi kirayen da NDC ta yi malan Siba Shakibu sakataren jam'iyyar PNC Ration Accra ya kara muryar sa ga zargin da jam'iyyar NDC ke yi kungiyoyin siyasa na kasa musamman ma na yan adawa tare da namu kungiyan siyasa na PNC muna ganin cewa to me yasa aka samu wa'anda yake sun yi wannan register zabe sunan su ya bullo nan ya bayyana a nan ya kuma bayyana a can a lokaci daya sai dai jam'iyyar NPP mai mulki na ganin a hali yanzu ba ta ga wata matsala daga hukumar zabe ba kamar yadda jami'in sadarwar jam'iyyar Sadat ya haya ba ko ya ce electoral commission kowa ya san kamar independent body ne to da kan suna da wato time table da suke aiki ne sa mu as a political party dai so far ba mu ga wani aibin da zamu kama su da shi a taron wani ma labarai da hukumar zabe ta shirya ta mai yadda martani dangane da zargin we call on the public to reject statements that they muna kira ga jama'a da su yi watsi da kalaman cewa rajirsar ba ta dace da zaben 2024 ba dr imran muhammad director shirye-shirye na hukumar wayar da kan jama'a ko ncce a takaice ya bayyana muryar amurka wasu kalubale da kuma illan da za su kawo idan ba da'ilisu ba abin da muka fahimci zai kalubalanci wannan zabe